Hello, hello, it's me, Sutra here. And if you are just tuning in, this is a channel where I really document my journey. And in this specific season of life, I am transitioning through having been let go of my job and just figuring out the next steps of what I wanna do. But in this particular video, I really wanna anchor in the importance of saving money. Like, thank freaking goodness I saved money because I really don't think I'd be able to feel so many pockets of peace and just breathe and not feel so scattered and stressed and like, oh my gosh, I need to apply to a job or do this thing or sell this thing like right away because I saved money. Like it's such a huge part of why I feel like I can even pick up this phone, this camera and record and document my journey, feeling spaciousness and feel like I can say yes and no to decisions based on them feeling truly right for me and not out of scarcity. Like I have to say yes to the thing because it's offered because I need money absolutely right away. It's really such a unique thing for me that although I got let go, I can intentionally choose to be like, yeah, I wanna take a little sabbatical, like a little break, intentional break, even if it's for a few months, and still have that pocket of freedom. And I, I know the term financially free is so different. And I think ultimately it's you that defines that term for yourself. But honestly, guys, like I feel financially free in a way like and that can really feel like wow I can get up and do whatever I want to do today without that stress of like I have to do these things to make money and that almost feels like the whole rat race which is nothing against that I definitely think there's pockets of time where all of us might feel like we have to be in that for a while but for me personally saving money and intentionally saving it has been a huge part of why I can feel peaceful in my journey right now and let myself go through the motions and let myself even have days where I'm not doing anything like majorly productive. Okay, so how did I make the shift from spending a ton, like what comes in goes out, to actually building the muscle to save? Because in high school, although my parents were always big savers and thrifty, and my dad was really into investing, I never actually built up that muscle. Like that wasn't, and it wasn't even a muscle at that time, it was just like something I wasn't motivated about. Because at the end of the day, if we are told this thing is good for you, like we can do it, but it's not actually gonna be sustainable unless we find real meaning and value in that. So that being said, I didn't find value in saving. So even in high school, that was when I first started making money and working, it was like whatever cash was coming in, I was like, cool, I got freedom to go to any restaurant I want, buy any clothes I want. It was almost like a little bit of an act of rebellion because although my parents did get me a lot of things, I still felt like I just wanted even more freedom for that. I was paying for my car expenses, my gas expenses, not all the car expenses, but you know, gas at that time when you're filling up a tank and you're not making a ton of money, you're just working very part-time in high school, like that's gonna add up too. So it was definitely like what comes in goes out. And now looking back, I'm like, dang, if I even saved like 5% or 10% of every paycheck, that would have added up, but can't live in the regret of the past. So fast forward to like two years ago when I started working full-time at a job where I was actually making a good amount of money because I'd worked jobs before, but it was also just like a lot lower of an income. You know, when you're in your early 20s, like this is gonna be different for everybody. But for me, like, although I had some jobs here and there, I didn't even have that within myself to ask for more or research like how can I make a lot more or even know what was on the market. And then when I was running my own business as well, like I wasn't making a ton of money Money either so when the, when you're not making so much money you can absolutely still save and you should if you're watching this even if you feel like you're not making much like the twenty dollars fifty dollars hundred dollars here and there it really adds up but I didn't do that so fast forward to when I was working a job where I was making enough where I'm like dang this is covering all of my expenses and I still have more and I don't feel like I'm pinching and I don't feel like I can't spend on the things I want to I felt super abundant but I felt like I still had some money left over. 
And I will say like there is a way where people make more and then they spend more. And I definitely found myself in this little dance as I started to get some raises and make more money. But I feel like me being really interested in minimalism, which was a little rabbit hole I got into, and the fact that I moved around a lot and usually lived in like cozy studio spaces, I really couldn't hold on to much. So I think my motivation for not wanting to hold on to so much and hoard so much and I was like I just want to have like a few things here and there but high quality that really helped me as well to not just be like I'm gonna keep spending and spending and spending I always value like high quality food so that's definitely like a big part of my expenditure and my car and my rent but other than that like everything else feels like just a little bit extra but so I feel like when you make more money I really feel like that means you're taking on more responsibility to manage more money. And so as I was making more money, I was like, oh dang, like I actually have more money to manage and I need to figure this out. And so for me, I'm so grateful that my partner shared so much knowledge and resources with me that really did get me motivated to start saving money. And so I'm gonna share a little bit about that with you. Again, little disclaimer, like I am not advising about money at all. I'm just sharing my experience of how I saved money to be at a place where I can feel financially free and just peaceful while being unemployed and being able to decide for myself that in this season, I don't need to rush into work. I don't need to live paycheck to paycheck and I don't need to live in scarcity and rely on every single opportunity coming up and I can feel rooted in my decision to say no to things because I feel safe and stability even while not working. So that being said, when you're saving, I feel like if you just put out a random number and you're like, I just wanna save, like that could work for other people. But for me, again, to find that meaning and importance and value and why you're saving, writing down what you're saving and why you're saving this for really makes all the difference. And so what that could look like is, let's say you have a few things you wanna save for. Maybe you like traveling and so you have a travel fund. And so every month, whether you make a very stable, consistent income or you're making different numbers, you still write that number down that feels really reasonable for you that you want to put aside for travels. And then maybe you want to invest in a whatever fund. And this is the money that you set aside that you might even actually put in a type of fund where that money grows and you're not really touching it, but you still need to like save this money and put it aside. So I wrote down that number and I wrote down a travel number. And then this is the number that I feel like is so relevant for this video. And that is an FU fund a fuck you fund and that basically means like you're putting money aside you could also call this your emergency fund whatever word or term resonates with you but it's essentially i just feel like the fu fund is like a very fun word because you do still want an emergency fund and maybe that is still a separate thing you can kind of decipher if the travel fund the fu fund and the emergency fund is different and different sections that you're saving for or if it's all in one but with the FU fund, what that really represents and symbolizes is essentially you're putting aside money so that if anything were to ever happen with your job, with your business, with whatever it is, or if you just wanna say like, I quit and I wanna travel or I wanna just not work for a while. It's like being, it's like that financially freeing fund that you're putting towards. That essentially means that like, it, yeah, if something were to happen with your job, let's say you're in a job scenario where like they're not even letting you go, but you really don't agree with the things they're doing or you're just feeling so drained, you're feeling so anxious, you're feeling like this is really not healthy for you. That FU fund is giving you the opportunity to be like, I never have to do this thing just because I'm reliant on this person or this company or dependent on them. It gives you the freedom to be like, actually, fuck you. I get to walk away right now and like feeling that freedom because I think the most like tightening thing for someone and your soul is to feel like you have to do something just because you need to survive. And so pouring into this fund essentially allows you to be like, maybe it's not going to keep you, you know, set for more than three months or more than six months. And this is where like your definition of financially free really depends. Like, is that fund, are you working towards that for like three months or six months, writing out all your expenses? Like how much does it cost for you to sustain your life for one month? 
and then multiply that by however many months that goal is for you. Do you want to build up a big enough fund where you can walk away from everything for like a whole year? Sometimes it's not always your choice how much you can stack it. Like in my case, I definitely had a bigger number goal in mind, but I got let go. So I wasn't able to like keep stacking to that amount. That being said, I can always continue stacking. It just means that it's not going to be through that job. All that being said, because I intentionally had this FU fund, that was really motivating for me. It was so motivating to be like, even though I love my job and I have so much of my heart in it, if anything were to happen and there were things that I didn't really agree with or that you know, times and chapters of my life in my work where I was really drained and I was like, oh, what would this look like to just not work? Like I was getting exhausted and I had a lot of pressure on me and I had a lot of responsibility. And so like having that fun to fall back on is exactly the reason why even after getting let go, I'm not freaking out. And I actually feel like I'm going to be chilling for even six months if I wanted to, if I chose not to work, which feels really good. That being said, like my goal is not to deplete that account. My goal is to still grow that account. And so me documenting my process here, I'm really going to be documenting in real time, like how I'm choosing and going about like my next steps of, you know, creating income for myself and just living life. So that's really what I wanted to come on here and share today is the importance of saving, creating motivation around that and how you can actually build your life of being financially free, even at a young age or whatever age you are. I'm 28 and I never thought I'd be having this conversation right now. And I also, it's like so not embedded within me. I like come from not just a lineage, like literally my parents and all my ancestors, but like I come from just so much wounding and training since I've grown up to be in scarcity. And so to be in a place where I'm like, I'm actually feeling peaceful and I'm feeling freedom and I feel like I can breathe. This feels like such a reclamation for myself, but also my lineage. And it feels like a fuck you in many ways. Like it feels like a fuck you to like, just the situation of me getting let go, which I really don't mean bad on anybody. It's just like for myself, it's like a fuck you. Like I got this, I could do this for myself. Like I, I feel financially free. You can call it your FF account, whatever that name resonates with you. I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm really excited to just be back on here and sharing. And I hope you have an incredible day. I hope, yeah, you're just feeling excited in this journey. And even if it's just $20 or $5 or $100 here and there, like stack it, stack it. You won't regret it.